I'm Steve Barish, uh, founder and president of Barish Architects and Associates, Inc., a 33-year-old architecture planning and engineering firm. One of the things that, that really interested me is how quickly the Tower 7 fell. It fell within seven seconds, approximately, from top to bottom. This building was built in the mid-80s and uh, met all the codes at the time. From about 1965 until about 1985, my, most of my experience has been in a high-rise, multi-story steel buildings. NIST would have us to believe that, that, that these were, was a typical office fire, scattered office fires, if you will, that brought this building down. Since the mid-60s, I've tried to follow high-rise fires because they're a, uh, something we worry a lot about as we design these buildings. And, and I'm not aware of any high-rise building that have come down as a result of fires. When it's all finished, the outside walls are piled one on top of the other right in the middle of the building. Just like a house of cards if it were coming down. According to NIST, the failure occurred at column 79 on level 12. This means basically as they're talking about a single columnar collapse or failure that resulted in a total collapse of the building. That just does not make any sense. I'm a fellow of the American Institute of Architects. For the 40 plus years that I've been practicing architecture, I have designed a variety of buildings from small houses to high-rise office buildings. Some of the high-rises that I've worked on are one shell and two shell here in Houston. I was project manager for a 22-story office building in Akron, Ohio. Later in the day when uh, World Trade Center 7 collapsed, they had already showed us pictures of a few fires in that building and I mean they weren't even raging and how could that cause a building to collapse as if it were imploded? Couldn't happen. 